Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Structures. Today we will discuss about the portal method. The portal method is an approximate analysis method for 2D frame building subjected with lateral loading. In portal method, uh, there are some external forces uh, acting on uh, to a 2D frame and we have to determine the effect of these external forces on uh, a frame which is uh, which are in terms of actual forces in beams and columns bending moments in beams and columns and shear forces in beams and columns for determining all these forces uh, in generating in beams and columns first of all we have to un understand some assumptions regarding this method our first assumption is the hinges generated at mid of the each elements that is columns and beams so basically the hinges are generated at mid height of the column and at mid length of the beams our second assumptions are the exterior columns having the half shear than the interior columns it means whatever shear force generated in the columns uh, due to external forces which shear forces are two times higher at, at interior columns than the exterior columns. Now let's take one example of portal frame. You can see one 2D frame is in this diagram. Okay. And a two story building is there. Uh, two external forces are acting from left to right direction at top story 20 kN force and at bottom story 30 kN force so first of all you can see I have given names for each and every joints A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I so basically we have total nine number of joints here and we have to solve all these joints and we can find forces which can resist by this external forces so this top uh, frame will uh, we will consider it as a top top half of the structure and the bottom story we consider as a bottom half of the structure so as per our first assumptions we have to assume that the hinges generated at a mid level of each and every element so in this diagram you can see I have already assumed all the hinges at the mid height and mid level of the each and every element I have already given a number to each and every hinges where you can see PQ M N O R S J K L. Okay, and these are the hinges, and we already know that where hinges are generated, the bending moment will be zero. Now, for solving this frame, we have to assume that we are cutting this story from hinge level. Okay, so for top story we are cutting our top story from this m n o line okay now let's uh, cut the top story of the structure and uh, let's take half uh, top half of the first story and as you can see we are taking uh, top half of the first story so we can just cut our first story from M N N O okay and uh, we are separating also the all three joints G H I as you can see in the diagram okay uh, also we are separating uh, hinge num hinge name P and hinge name Q uh, as per their own joints okay now uh, for step one as per our assumption the inner column will have a double shear than the outer columns 
so uh, first of all as uh, we know that our uh, external forces is in direction from left to right so definitely our left so i am showing uh, the shear of the column from right to left uh, for each and every column okay and which is acting at the center of the columns i am showing uh, at m n o okay so i am giving the name uh, v1 2v2 and v1 so the hinge number n which column will be at the inner one so it will having the double shear than the outer ones okay and let's solve the uh, shear which is v1 plus 2v1 plus v1 is equal to 20 and this 20 is nothing but the value of the external force which which is acting at the top story and eventually the value of v1 is 5 kilo newton okay and the answer are uh, 5 kilo newton for uh, first column uh, 10 kilo newton as it is double for interior column and 5 kilo newton again for the exterior columns For concept of hinge let me explain you one thing as you can see <coughs> I have separated one hinge for different joints or I can say that I have devised same hinge for the respective joints same here hinge P is also considering for joint G and also for joint H so basically at hinge level the direction of forces will be opposite for the respective joints as here I show that the direction of force for joint G at hinge P is from left to right and for joint H it is right to left so basically it should be in equilibrium so as it is in equilibrium the magnitude of force will be same but the direction is opposite here I have shown as per our calculation at hinge uh, number of m the force value will be 5 kilo newton as it is external column uh, hinge number n which is included with the internal column so the shear value will, will be 10 kilo newton as it is double from the external one and for the last one the column io will have the shear 5 kilo newton now let's take bottom story of the building see the diagram for the bottom story I have considered second half of the first story and first half of the bottom story basically main joints of the bottom story is D E and F so others uh, are the points which are showing in red color they are hinges also the bottom story we have considered only top half so we have to cut this halves from hinges J, K and L. Now here we have to determine shear of the columns. So assume shear direction at hinges J, K and L. As external force of the uh, external force direction is left to right. So our resistive force will be definitely opposite direction. And let's apply the first assumption that the external columns will have the half force than the interior columns. So at hinge J assume the force as V2. Here V as uh, for, uh, shear and 2 as in the for the bottom story. At the K it will 2 V2 due to internal columns. And at joint L it is again v2 due to external one which should be equal to the total external force and that is 20 from the top story and 30 from the bottom story okay so as per the calculation you can see the force result value of the v2 is 12.5 for external columns and 25 for the internal col columns as it double so here i am showing the shear force results of the columns with directions
here the column shear for the whole building or we can say for the complete frame is is showing also see the direction of shear forces of the columns as i discussed with you already that at a hinge shear will be uh, having same magnitude but for the opposite direction for respective joints say i show that show here the 5 kN shear force for the column gd it is right to left when we consider joint g and for joint d it will be left to right 